Do you have the device? Oh, please say you do. Oh, we're so close to something truly majestic. Here you go, Moreland. Uh, yes, yes. Thank you. I hope getting it wasn't too much trouble. Oh, this design, it's so compact. Oh, the ancients knew how to make them. It should fit the housing like a dream. Just need to cinch up the blaze leads and away we go. Uh, we? Make the maiden flight without the maiden who played such a vital part? My mother raised me better than that. You should have the honor of seeing the world in a way that no one alive has ever seen it. How about it? How can I say no to that? Is that? Nah, nothing to worry about. We have a sturdy tether connecting us to the ground. Pure Osirum craftsmanship. Well, time to give it a little flame. Aha! We ascend! Behold, the world beneath our feet. Ah, the sky at our fingertips. The burner heats the air inside, which gets lighter than what surrounds it. So we rise. Indeed. We're powered by hot air. Just like Stemmer. <laughs> but don't tell him I said that. We are on the cusp of history. The first successful Osirum flight. There have been other attempts? Oh, yeah! The history of Osirum flights is fascinating. And, you know, violence and frequently incendiary. I feel like you should have mentioned this before. Ah, oh, the others failed because their machines were too heavy and complex. They were begging to crash. Not here. Just a pilot compartment, blaze, a burner, the orb, and a tether. Within simplicity, there is perfection. Well, at least, you know, less chance of exploding. You know, if Abaddon were here, he'd be drunk like a wastrel, crippling fear of heights. That said, he gets poetic when drunk. He has evocative rhymes about all his various ledgers. A little known fact, Osram poetry started as work songs and forges around the claim. Ah, just a bit of turbulence. We shall tame these wild skies yet. <sighs> like more than turbulence. Uh, for the record, that was not part of the planned aerial experience. What was that? Uh, yeah, I think our tether just came undone. Moreland! Oh. <laughs> That's just a small step back. Nothing to... Worry about! They can fix this! They can fix it! Break it! Right, these baskets! It's gonna hit us! in danger. I have to get to him. No! Ah! No! Gotta follow his voice. I'm stuck on the other side. I've gotta clear out these machines.
Okay. That's the last one. Better check on Morland. Hold on, Morland. I'll get you out. Aloy. Great gears, you're alive. Uh, would you mind applying a little leverage? Hey, you all right? Oh. oh, when that maelstrom hit us, everything fell apart. I remember dropping, and then you tumbled out, and... It's okay. We're alive. You know, in terms of Osram aviation, <laughs> we're pioneers. And they say it's a cursed field of study. <laughs> Do you need help getting back to camp? Yeah, no, I can make it. But I need to get the burner. It fell off when we were attacked. I, mean, I can replace everything else. Except that. Okay. Let's go. Do you have any idea what hit us? I couldn't get a good look at it in that maelstrom. Between the screeching and the lightning, it was probably a storm bird. Woof. Hideous machine. Well, at least it vanished with the storm. Would you mind finding a way across? All we need is something to bridge the gap. I think I found us a bridge. <laughs> Efficient and effective. <laughs> Make a fine Osirum. I see it. The burner is right below that storm bird. Ah, uh, yeah. I really need to stop making predictions on what's safe. Gotta be the same one that brought us down. We'll have to kill it to get the burner. You ready?
It's dead. Steel to my soul. Oh, Aloy. Oh, uh, over here. When you have a moment. Steel. Hmm. This will make a good die. Sorry, had to go deal with something. You were talking about something before I left. Steel to my soul. Oh. Oh, I think that Stormbird had it in for me. Or really fancied my orb. Found it. Ah, <laughs> oh, just a hairline crack in the casing. Yeah, I can clean that up with a bit of spot welding. Assuming the ground doesn't open up and swallow us, I, I'm gonna say we're finally safe. Yet again, you risked your life for me and my ambitions. I wish I had Stemmer's words to thank you properly. If it helps, you've inspired me to draft up a new improved orb. Something that unites spectacle and survival. Uh, I'm honored, but I think I'll let Abaddon and Stemmer have the next flight. I'll see you back at the camp. I have so much to think about, so many ideas to explore. Until we meet again, May your tools never break, and may your imagination never find its limits. You too, Morland.